Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosa. Today is Monday, June the 8th, 2020. This morning we have a few prayer requests. Uh, we continue to pray again this morning for an end to anti-black racism and violence. We continue to pray for the safety of all people who are protesting peacefully, as well as the safety of police officers and city officials who are placing themselves on the front lines, sacrificing their own personal safety, as well as their families at home. We also pray for those still being affected by the COVID-19 virus and pandemic. We pray for continued findings in the field of science so that we can again move forward and return to some normalcy in the world. And also we have a prayer request, a private prayer request from a staff member as well. We pray for any other staff members or students uh, for any other intentions that they may be carrying with them at this time. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday, we celebrated the Solemnity of the Holy Trinity. This is by far the most complicated of all truths in our faith, yet the most profound and revealed doctrine of our Catholic tradition. The Holy Trinity is one God in three equal persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and each working in harmony and united in love and in the sacrifice of all creation. And so it is the Father who sends out the Holy Spirit and his only Son in order to proclaim the goodness of God and to pray as we ought to, to God for his mercy, compassion, and justice. We have the Son, Jesus Christ, both human and divine, to reveal to us God's grace and love and to show us the direct path to salvation and the Holy Spirit to build upon the faithful of our church to show us the fruit of our labor in our lives with the acts of or the many acts of charity, peace, kindness and generosity so that we may become one with Jesus Christ. This is our belief and this is what we profess to be our one God in three persons and so united and in revelation to the love of God in the service of one another we pray glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, a few announcements for you this morning, this Monday morning, beautiful Monday morning out there, Cardinal Ambrosic. Uh, first of all, this week we do return with a full week of activities, full week of events. Um, we begin tonight with our Abound segment, Chaplaincy 101, which will be taking place at 8 p.m. at Ambrosic Chaplaincy. I will be co-hosting with the talented Mrs. Vincent, the chaplain at St. Michael's in Bolton, as we speak this week on issues of social justice in our schools and how we respond to the needs of staff and students in our schools when working together with them to create action and change. And so don't miss that. That's every Monday, tonight, 8 p.m. at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, Abound, Chaplaincy 101, as we talk about social justice. Also on Wednesday, we will continue with our Spilling Tea segment, again, live on Instagram, at 8 p.m. at Ambrosic Chaplaincy. And this week, we will uh, once again um, have Melissa Posoko. Now, we did have her scheduled last week, but as you know, last week we... I uh, wanted to be united with all of our black sisters and brothers as we were uh, also uh, bringing light all the anti-racism uh, that was taking place in our world uh, and as well uh, all the different events that were taking place, including the protests. And so this week we continue. Uh, we will have Melissa Posoko, a graduate of Cardinal Ambrosic, in fact, in the first graduating class of 2013, uh, who has now just completed her third degree, that's right, her third degree, second master's level degree uh, in speech pathology. And so we'll talk about all of her uh, many achievements academically. She is a parent's dream, an educator's dream, incredibly intelligent, very gifted, uh, successful in all her undertakings, uh, very active in her time off from studies, loves her family and loves to contribute to her community in many volunteering commitments. Isn't that amazing that an alumni of Cardinal Ambrosic has that much already um, accomplished in her life? And so we will have her, Melissa Posoko, and I would give a heads up to Mr. Linden and Miss Andropolis as she speaks very highly of the both of you and has very fond memories of both of you as well. 
Also, uh, this Thursday, uh, June the 11th at 4 p.m., we will be celebrating together a prayer service for reconciliation. And this is in response to the anti-black racism events that have been taking place uh, in the last few weeks, but also an opportunity to bring healing in our school community uh, to anyone who's been personally affected uh, by the recent events. I will be meeting uh, later today uh, with the Black History Group to organize the service. And I invite all staff and students to join us this Thursday, again, June 11th at 4 p.m., as we celebrate a prayer service for reconciliation. And again, Cardinal Ambrosic, you can follow us daily on YouTube at Cardinal Ambrosic Catholic Secondary School Office of Chaplaincy for your daily morning prayer and announcements. Please subscribe, tell your friends and family to join us as we will continue to post as much as possible in all of our great activities and initiatives on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, again, Cardinal Ambrosic, uh, it's a beautiful day out there. Please do get an opportunity to get out there at some point and enjoy it. Have a wonderful start to your week. Have a productive work week. Have a productive school week. And we will see you back here tomorrow morning. God bless you.